YouTube. I'm back to talk about the Revlon Photo Ready now. Um, like I had said in previous videos, I used to use Mac and then uh, it was just too expensive. Had to make some decisions, like things in my life I wanted to cut back. So I decided, you know, to give the grocery store, CVS, Walmart makeup a try. I really, really, really was having like second thoughts about it. I was like, this stuff's not going to work. and But it has it's been amazing. So this Revlon Photo Ready uh, is my favorite foundation. I use it every single day. I also love the Revlon Color Stay. This is my going out makeup. I did a YouTube uh, review on that. You guys can watch it. Um, I used to use the MAC Studio Fix every day, but this made me break out. I don't know why, you know, MAC says they don't have any oils or stuff that makes you break out, but MAC makes me break out, but yet I still kept using it. Um, if you use any acne medicine or anything like that, this stuff just glides over it. Uh, I do use acne medicine. I do have problem with skin. If I do a photo shoot and like sometimes that makeup will make me break out or it's that time of the month I break out. So I can put my acne stuff on, let it dry, and then put this right over and <coughs> Excuse me. You can't even tell. Uh, it just glides over it. It doesn't mix with it and make weird cake face. Um, usually, if I'm going to the grocery store or just like running out and doing something, and even to the gym, which I know you shouldn't wear makeup to the gym, but I do because I have a lot of redness in my skin. And when I work out, it gets really blotchy and I look angry and I just don't like it. So I will wear like, um, like sheer I'm putting very little on, um, but then you can also, it's buildable. I'm wearing it right now. I probably put, you know, two layers of it on. Um, and then if I'm just running around, I don't really care if my, you know, skin looks absolutely perfect, then I won't set it with a powder. I kind of like the dewy look. Um, I am very fair. I always wear the lightest color in every makeup, and I think for fair people, this is just amazing makeup. Um, I think if you have, like, darker skin, it, it does have shimmers. The shimmers might show then. I heard a lot of reviews where people didn't like it because of that, but, um, and also if you have really oily skin, I wouldn't really suggest it, but, uh, my, I, I can have oily forehead and stuff and, like, T-zone, and it doesn't really bother me, especially if I set it with a powder. Now powder I'm setting it with is the Physicians Formula. This is a creamy natural multi-colored pressed powder. Um, I used to use the MAC like I had talked about before. Uh, well, with the, when I use Studio Fix, that you don't set that. It's a powder and everything all in one. But if I use MAC the Pro Longwear, I would set it with this uh, Care Blend, Studio Care Blend. Um, so compared to that, I love this is a lot more. I have like tried to set it a few times with the care blend and I just, I don't like it. I, I'm just like obsessed with like Walmart target makeup now. Um, so that's what I set it with when I put it on. If I'm just doing like one layer to run out the house, I'll use my hands. I don't think there's anything wrong with using your hands. I've seen tons of makeup artists use their hands on people. Um, but everyone usually suggests, I mean, I've seen sponges too, they use sponges, but the big thing is like a brush. So if I'm like really trying to do it nice, like today I put on two layers of it, you know, blend it out, then I will use this e.l.f. powder brush over my MAC and bare mineral brushes because this is another thing that blew my mind I found out on YouTube, $3 e.l.f. brush better than any other brush I have. So um, I will use that to put it on. And um, like I said, if you're fair, I think that you're going to do really, really well with this. I am going to go out and buy, like, I'm kind of buying these things a little bit at a time to do reviews on. If there is something you want me to review, let me know. Uh, the next thing I'm going to try is I, I've got a coupon. This I think, oh, coupons. <laughs> so I have a coupon for the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Makeup. I'm going to try that um, next time probably. The next thing I'm going to buy is the primer, the Photo Ready Primer and the Photo Ready Powder and see how that works like all together and compare it to like using a MAC primer, you know, MAC foundation, MAC powder and let you guys know how that goes. So um, leave me comments, any 
any foundation you want me to try I'm really open I'm uh, trying to you know try all the foundations I can I do I, I used to use bare minerals and I loved it bare minerals is the best but as you get older I'm 28 I do get like fine lines in my forehead and stuff and throughout the day it starts to settle there and that's another thing I absolutely love about this like you can still if you really stare at my forehead see my fine lines and wrinkles well you probably can't on cam but um because this stuff's awesome so this doesn't settle in your fine lines or you know I, i've seen people really young with like a forehead wrinkle and it's just you know we make weird faces all the time and that stuff happens so don't feel bad about your wrinkles everybody has them. my model i have wrinkles so uh but this stuff doesn't settle in them and the shimmer kind of i don't know you can't really see it doesn't draw attention to the wrinkle it kind of deflects it I guess but um this is pretty good for if you have some forehead wrinkles there's some you know skin thing that you're embarrassed about a scar maybe um, but I'm gonna get this the primer they have two different kind they have a color one that kind of like evens out your skin tone and then they have one that is for like uh, minimizing pores and fine lines so I'm gonna buy the fine line ones because I don't really feel like once I put this on I still have a color issue so I'm gonna definitely try the fine line ones because I still if I look really closely can see my forehead wrinkle <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try that primer I'll let you know how it goes but anyways all right yeah like I said if there's any makeup you want me to try let me know I'll go buy it I'll try it um, any comments was this helpful for you guys uh, yeah, subscribe. That would be great. Anyways, see you guys later.